All right, I'm gonna try to straighten the crank here on uh, the uh, 1928 FH. Sorry about that, but I just, I just seen something. And I started looking at it. I lost I lost my train of thought there for a second. But anyway, we're gonna try and uh, straighten this crank a little bit. We know right off the bat before I even put it in the jig that we're not gonna get it perfect, but it's gonna get it, we're gonna make it good enough that it's uh, not gonna wobble. All right. We've got the crankshaft set up here in this uh, little jig, this cradle sort of thing. I asked a little racer to, to slap this together for me uh, so we can uh, just take measurements and see how far out this crank really is. And uh, he actually did a nicer job than I really wanted him to, you know. I mean, I just wanted him to put some, throw up something crude, but this thing here is uh, top notch. But anyway, all it is is uh, a couple V-notches and uh, everything squared up, so... I'll try to take a, a reading here. I got so many lights in this garage, I, I really can't uh, turn this camera in any direction so you don't get a glare. Unless I really come in close, maybe. I'm going to focus in. There we go. All right, I'm turning the crank now. I can't read it. I think it might be like seven and eight, seven thousandths out. Uh, go around one more time. Like I said, this is pretty much the only only way you can tell where it's bent and how much it's bent. So let me back off a little bit and you can actually see. You won't be able to read the, the dial, I don't think, but uh, now this side's another story. This this is actually the short side. This is the one with the the flywheel and uh, the points and everything on it, so this one really isn't that bad. I mean, considering, you know, a, a brand new Harley Davidson comes out of the factory and they allow it to be three thousandths out. So this, this is seven, eight thousandths out. That, uh, that really isn't that bad. You probably wouldn't even notice that on with the flywheel and stuff. And this side, this really doesn't hold anything except maybe that bell and uh, the governor, you know. And you, you probably wouldn't even see it there, but. Uh, we're going to straighten it anyway. All right, over here it's it's so far out that a uh, dial indicator would just would just spin like a top. So I got a little point set up, and uh, let me throw you in a in a tripod over there, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, got a lot of shadows going on here, so I don't know how well you're going to see this, but uh, I, I set up a little pointer, and you spin that. You can see how far off that is. You know, you guys are so close up that it really looks worse than it is. I mean, it's bad, but it's it's not quite as bad as it looks that close up. But uh, let me throw a ruler on here, and it actually looks like uh, three thirty seconds. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get right up on the point here, but it's not quite three thirty seconds, but it's. Uh, Close enough there. I don't know how much you can see. So uh, that's where we're at. Like I say, you'll probably that, the little bell goes on there that just covers the governor, and you probably wouldn't see it. I'll probably get away with this, but uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine, one of our engine buddies, and uh, he was telling me he might have one of these in his basement. So uh, I might just wait and see instead of wasting my time even trying to straighten it. I mean, I'm not going to throw it out. I'll straighten it, but. Uh, We'll see if he has one. If he has one, then we might use that. If not, then we'll just we'll uh, straighten this one. All right. I almost forgot. I was going to give you guys a look at uh, this little cradle that uh, Racer built. Get this open here. And this. Uh, let me get this out of the way. All right. Yeah, he actually took the time to uh, to drill out a hole here. That was the exact same size as the the crank on this side. It's funny this crank has two different sizes on it. This size here I think was a little over an inch, and this was a seven eighths. But he he actually drilled them out and straightened uh, each one there, so it fit in there almost perfect. And then uh, V'd out the the bottom here. And what the, what the, that V does almost fell there. What that V does is when you put the crank in, it just keeps it from from going sideways. 
can put this in. There we go. Yeah, that makes it so you can spin it, but it, it prevents it from uh, from going moving any direction. Pretty nice. And he squared it all up here, and it's uh, perfectly square. But it's a nice little thing. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to throw it out. I'm going to keep it because uh, a lot of Briggs cranks are uh, would fit in there. And then uh, he made this little bar here so I can uh, just uh, spin this and turn this and use that on the thing there. Pretty clever. All right. Enough of this. All right. I'm going to work on this coil here. I'm going to uh, throw some layers on there. Mike's got a chart over here how many uh, he's keeping track of uh, how many windings on each layer and it looks like he's, he's staying between about uh, 385 and uh, 400, 410 or so it looks like. All right. The reason the numbers aren't the same, you know, like uh, exactly 400 on each uh, spin is because you're, you're concentrating on this coil here and the counter is way over here and you can't see it unless you're directly on top of it. You know, and when uh, when he's working on it, and I'm standing next to him, I could tell him where he's at. But if you're working on this alone, which he he was doing last engine night, you know, he gave up uh, working on his little little radio there, you know, to try to get me going with this uh, coil here. And uh, that's why his numbers are uh, so different. You know, he's down to uh, 370 on one, 382 on another. Because when you uh, when this is winding and everything, when you stop it. You don't want to. You don't want to keep starting and stopping it because you know that that wire is so so thin. Every time you do that, you have a chance of breaking it. You know he has. A, I got a little gas pedal hooked up for him, but it's just on off. It's not like an accelerator where you can start this machine slow. It uh, sort of jumps on. So, As a matter of fact, he uh, when he left it, he only he only finished halfway. So I'm gonna finish that up and. Uh, and then keep going. Like I say, I don't know how many uh, layers I'm going to put there, but uh, maybe I'll I'll throw a camera up so you can see it. Really, not much to see. I mean, you already seen him do it, but uh, maybe we'll throw it up anyway, just for posterity, right? All right.